that you couldn't see anymore. Well, even if that is the case, you pull over, but now you swerve off the road to avoid an oncoming car. I mean, were you in their lane? Did you just think they were in your lane because you were trashed? And I mean, did you see that tree? Did you see that tree? I it did. It like I, such a, a simple thing there. It seems like she took it out. There's, I, I don't, but I don't, thank you for laying out that story. I don't buy any Ooh. of these excuses. You're nearly 70. Mm -hmm. Call an Uber. I mean, and listen, we're going to, I'm doing a show on Patreon about how we're, we're in trouble with housewives. Like we're everyone, Miami, Miami, it's on pause until September. They announced it. I don't know if Miami's ever coming back. I got to deep dive that Potomac. This is not, people are getting a little confused behind the scenes. We're not starting to film Potomac right away because of this. Guess what? I have newsflash after the reunion. We're going to have a little hiatus for Potomac too. Mark my words. Mark my words. Oh, you're wrong. This is good. No, we're not starting right away just because of this. This is not, this is not Tom and Erica. This is not, no, we're not gonna. Beverly I Hills. Agree. I think Potomac is in big, big trouble. Big trouble. You guys yeah. are living, you gotta come back to reality, everybody. We have a real problem with housewives. It, it's over. It's over. It is actually the beginning of the end. I, 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 you have to face reality here. You have to. This okay, so what, all right. So what do you believe to be true and not in this mix? Um, and do you think this is fairly unprecedented? Candy Gal is leaving. Now, I am not surprised to hear this because I have thought on this current season of RHOP, which just had the finale a few weeks ago, I believe that they have iced out Candy Gal. I believe much like they did with Reality Vontis, uh, they, the women collaborated behind the scenes. And I think according to Andy Cohen, there is just, there's no way this group of women can move forward. They can't find any alliances. There's no forgiveness. And I think they intentionally iced out Candy. She's a very smart woman. I think she knew it and saw, if I don't exit, I'm going to be exited. What's your thought? Maybe, but that's still different than the reality volunteer situation where the phone rings and it's like, we're going to cool you off. And how do you want to announce this? Do you, you know, all these people, you know, uh, this and that. And Anne Marie at least is being honest. Dorinda was honest. Everyone else says, you know, I'm taking some time off. You're not, you were fucking fired. So I believe, look, I don't, I stand by nobody gets fired until after the reunion period. The end it's fake news from the Jasmine brand. When they say Robin Dixon is let go. Is Robin Dixon going to be let go? Yes. Is she let go when the Jasmine brand announces it before the reunion? No. No offense to the Jasmine brand. Nobody is let go or given a contract before the reunion. So uh, Candace did quit. She quit. She wasn't fired because nobody is getting fired. Before. There was no phone call, save, save face. That would come the day after the reunion which is why I think Candace is so fucking smart. Because if this happened after the reunion, I would be saying, oh, Candace was fucking fired. The fact that it happened before the reunion, she did leave on her own. Now you bring up a good point. Was she going to be fired if not? And she's that smart and she just wanted to save grace and say, I'm moving on to other things. I don't know. Was she really going to be fired? Maybe, but I'm not sure. But I think regardless, it's a we'll never know. So it's a really smart play to take yourself out of that cesspool of fired housewives and then try to have a career, it does give you a lit. It doesn't mean you have the career, but it gives you a little bit of clout of like, I walked away because I'm an actress and a singer, right? Yeah. I mean, I think she's got a lot of irons in the fire. I think she could be another person that we've talked about that can have a whole other career beyond um, housewives. I, but where, what's your crystal ball telling you? I mean, where, where do you think you've said this RHOP is going on pause? You believe, I believe this? It. I feel it. You believe this is the beginning of the end. What does that mean? We get, I believe this is the beginning of the end for housewives that like, oh, and I'm I doing, see. this is what I'm doing my Patreon so. on. Like, I, I go back to this. This will be a teaser for the Patreon. But like, if you're used to two checks a year, just say you're Giselle Bryant and you're used to two checks a year. You film 
for however many months, and then it airs, and you get your 700,000, and then you do the same thing again, and you get two 700,000s. You get 1.4. When we have a six-month or whatever hiatus, you're only getting 700,000 this year. So you're not fired. Even if the show comes back, we are really stretching it all out now, right? We have two exceptions. We have three, Salt Lake, would start too. Salt Lake would start right away because of reality of Antis and all this. And we have Beverly Hills where over one, the only franchise right now that has over one, really, although Atlanta did, but that's broken. So everything else is this pause. Where is New York? I know we're going to know any day. I don't care if we know right now in the middle of this conversation, it still was a long pause for New York. Jersey filmed right away ish. And guess what? We then didn't air it. We shelved it forever. And now it's going to start. So New York was on this long hiatus. Jersey, Miami, rumor is it's on pause until September. Yeah, right. We'll see about that. 400,000 people watching. Right, right. Fine. Like that's what you think. Because we're not going to, you know, and now Potomac will be that. And Atlanta has been on pause. So it's like, do you realize everything is now a huge gap? So at best, you're not fired and you're getting half the pay. You can look at it any way you want. It's one paycheck a year versus two. We're not drawing it out because everything is great and hunky-dory, no pun intended. And I don't think all the legal stuff with Andy and all this, I mean, that's not why, but it ain't helping. It's like somebody is coming in and saying like, all of this shit is happening and there's no fucking ratings. Like it's the beginning of the end. And if people don't realize that, and we will go into that more on Patreon, you're just kidding yourselves. I'm sorry. I, I, I just live in reality. I'm not trying to be negative. I, I mean, have to, I, like I have to shows, live in reality. I, I, I feel to. like these shows are going to continue. I mean, you know, here's the thing, right? I, I cover all these TLC shows yes. that have a much less, they have a very cult following, but it is not as rampant online as what we have in Bravo, right? Yes. Like I can walk into a room and I, 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 last night, right? We were at podcast movement meetings. And, you know, I was talking to some of the women about Thousand Pound Sisters and Sister Wives. I mean, they were like, what? I don't, I'm don't. i not familiar with any of these shows. I think they'd heard of, nine. they definitely heard of 90 Day Fiance, right? But I mean, in a way, TLC has always gone with the mantra of like, we do not create stars. You know, we're, we're a fly on the wall production. We just want to observe people's real lives. We're fly on the wall. Love that. And they have none of the fanfare of Bravo, but yet these shows, they, but they're doing fairly well and these shows continue and continue, but they have none of the meetups, the groups. So I just don't, I mean, the Housewives franchise is so big. I mean, I just think, do we get down to maybe four? Do we have mm -hmm. Beverly Hills, Salt Lake, Atlanta, and maybe, I'm trying to think of who else. Jersey. Oh, Jersey, Jersey. I, right. Do you I, just get rid of New York altogether? I believe and if we're going to have four, Personally, if we're going to have four, I believe those are the four. Now, we might have a decent season of RHOC coming up with Alexis and Shannon. Oh. That would be the fifth. But right, let's not give it too much credit. I think Potomac and Miami, goodbye. And I think, and by the way, God, I, I mean, I can't reveal it here. I got to say something.